Gatlinburg, Tennessee has become a major destination spot for many families across America, but you might not know of its humble beginnings. Gatlinburg is often referred to as the gateway to the Smoky Mountains because it lies right at the foot of Mount Lacan, one of the highest mountain peaks in the Appalachian mountain range. The area of Gatlinburg was once called White Oak Flats during the 19th century due to the amount of native white oak trees covering the landscape. Before the land was settled, the local Native American tribes were the only human inhabitants. In time, pioneer settlers made the area their home and the veterans of the Revolutionary War came to settle in White Oak Flats from North Carolina. One of the first settlers was the Oglesby family, which was later shortened to Ogle. In 1807, Martha Jane Husky Ogle brought her seven children to the area and built her cabin, which can still be seen today in downtown Gatlinburg. The move was quite uncommon for a woman to do alone, but it was her wish to honor her recently deceased husband, William, and settle in the land of paradise he had found for them. The Ogle name is still prominent today in Gatlinburg and is used for things such as hotels, craft shops, and area landmarks. The story of how the name evolved into Gatlinburg involves a controversial figure who settled there in 1854. Bradford C. Gatlin opened a general store in town and established a new post office there in 1856. Thus the town's name was changed from White Oak Flats to Gatlinburg after him. Many accounts remark that Gatlin was a flamboyant preacher and even started his own Gatlinite Baptist Church. With this and his democratic political views in a Republican community, he was eventually banished from the area, but yet the town still bears his name. The formation of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park in 1934 boosted the area's tourism and economy. Many mountain families were displaced and have since moved into town to develop new enterprises or take jobs at hotels and restaurants. The town's progress slowed during World War II, but by war's end, tourists returned and the little village of Gatlinburg expanded. It was incorporated in 1945 and has since developed into a four-season resort and convention setting. No matter the season, Gatlinburg is able to cater to the needs of a tourist. The Gatlinburg calendar is so packed with seasonal special events, it may be hard to decide what all to do. Contrary to many destinations, the heat of the summer won't impose any limits when choosing what to do. In August, the average high is only 86 degrees, while the average low is a comfortable 74 degrees. Every fall, Gatlinburg undergoes a stunning transformation as the trees erupt into vibrant colors that make up breathtaking fall foliage scenes. It's the perfect time for a family getaway to the Great Smoky Mountains and a chance to see the most beautiful time of the year in Tennessee. The Gatlinburg Winter Calendar features events such as the New Year's Eve Fireworks Spectacular and Winterfest when the city magically erupts into millions of spectacular lights and lighted displays from November through February. As winter fades and the colors of spring begin to sparkle through the Smokies, Gatlinburg blossoms into the center of all things botanical during Spring Fest, a time when many festivals are held due to the natural beauty of the surrounding area. It's clear to see there's never a bad time for your first visit to Gatlinburg to soak in the beauty of the land and the richness of the history.